Hello, everyone. Hi. Hello. Uh, Anya, do you see me and do you hear me? Yes. Yes, I hear. Okay, I hear you as well. So, um, hello everyone. We are starting our webinar like in a couple of minutes. Um, my name is Nadia Kord, and I'm the coordinator of the International Master Program Prototyping Future Cities in Moscow in the High School of Economics. And I will do just a brief introduction of what we are going to do today. And then Anna will continue with her presentation, with her uh, speech and with her communication with you. So today uh, we are in a great moment because despite of the fact that we are in this strange global situation when all the world goes online and uh, quite sad events are happening, Despite that fact, uh, we have this opportunity to communicate through online means and to have this online joint events. Um, and today, uh, I think people from different parts of Russia and from different parts of the world will be joining our webinar. And um, um, this is a really great moment that we can share our experience, that we can, sh can share our stories and that we still can communicate and discuss different interesting topics. Uh, more than this, today we are launching from the High School of Economics and from the Master Program Prototype in Future Cities an international uh, global scholarship competition. And um, I suppose that some of you are interested, probably are interested to participate in this competition. Um, I will share my screen now for a couple of minutes. Uh, just to show you um, the web page where you can learn more about this scholarship comp competition and uh, where you can participate and register for this competition. So just a second, I hope it will work and my screen can be shared with you. Uh, um, maybe not, maybe not, it will not work. <laughs> As always, yeah, maybe. <laughs> um, okay, I think uh, my colleague Valeria, who are now in the chat, will share with you the link to the um, web page with the registration <coughs> to the Global Scholarship Competition. I will just say, uh, Lera, could you please send the link to, to everyone in the chat um, about the competition? So the main idea of the Global Scholarship Competition is that you can participate being in any part of the world, you can register. And on 26th of April, we are going to have a global online competition where anyone from any part of the world can join. And the winners and um, winners of this competition will get the scholarships and discounts to study at the master program prototype in future series here in Moscow in the High School of Economics. Um, and uh, the tasks and the assignments of this competition will be connected with the um, contents and with the concept of the master program so from the one side you can participate and win scholarship and competition um, and discounts from the uh, second part from the other side you can learn more about the program you can learn more about the program contents uh, because the tasks will be strictly connected with the things that we are doing during the program so this is one thing and um, I really encourage you to register, to participate in this competition. Um, even if you are not interested to enter the master, this is an interesting global event um, and you can have a nice experience communicating with different people from all over the world and you can um, uh, prepare quite an interesting task that we've prepared for you. Uh, so, and second thing is that um, during this month, during this end of last days of April and uh, last days of March and April, we are going to have a, a series of webinars with our students and um, alumni of the graduates of the master program prototyping future series who will share 
their projects, their success stories, uh, and with whom you can directly communicate and ask how they did succeed in some specific fields, how did they accomplish the projects in quite innovative fields, and uh, maybe they, um, and maybe you can learn more not just about the projects but about the way how to collaborate globally and how to launch and promote your projects in very different fields because the students who are going to talk and uh, graduates who are going to talk in this series of webinars will be um, uh, from different fields and with very different uh, life experience and very different success stories. So today we're having with us Anna, who will uh, start her speech in uh, one minute and who will share with you her story of success and how she launched the international research. Uh, part of this research she accomplished while she was studying at the master program prototype in future cities in Moscow in Shukhov lab in the laboratory for experimental urban design. And uh, she presented this research last summer in New York in Museum of Modern Art at the uh, Global Summit by design challenge uh, which was a quite interesting experience and she will share with you how she was uh, how she was developing her research uh, later um uh, later you will have another topics of the webinars, for example, on 9 of April, our student from Mexico, Andres Gomez, uh, will share his experience of living in Moscow, how she learned Russian only in half of a year, and how he's uh, studying urban studies here in Moscow, coming from Mexico. So, so 9 of April, at the same time, 5 o'clock Moscow time, you can join his webinar. On 14 of April, um, our another Mexican student, Pablo Golding, will uh, talk about uh, the project Moscow 2050 City uh, of Zero Emissions, the project that was developed for Shenzhen Biennale of Architecture and Urbanism, and Pablo was co-curator of this Biennale. Uh, of this uh, Biennale, the part of uh, research connected with Moscow 2050, and currently he is a student of Master Program Prototype in Future Cities, so 14 of April, 5 o'clock Moscow time, you can join this uh, event. And on 21st of April, uh, me, I'm going to talk about how to win a scholarship to study in Moscow. So I will explain in details how this com uh, global scholarship competition will be structured, which types of tasks uh, you will face, and uh, which strategies you can use to win the scholarship. So 21st of April, 5 o'clock, Moscow time. We are also inviting you to participate in these webinars. My colleague Valeria will share with you the links to the registrations of every of the webinar. And we, are, we will be really happy to see some of you on our other webinars as well. And um, uh, also, you can always ask any questions uh, during the webinars or during, in general, this global scholarship competition program that we are launching. You can email us. Uh, you can uh, put your questions in the chat during the webinar or after the webinar, contact me. So any <coughs> questions are open and uh, we, really, um, we really enjoy that you are today with us and we hope that um, we will have a fruitful collaboration during these webinars and uh, during the Global Scholarship Competition and maybe even some of you will join the program program later. So now Anna, the uh, graduate of the master program prototype in future cities, uh, will share her uh, success story and how she developed and launched the international architectural research. Um, I will be still here, maybe sometimes asking some que questions. So Anna, um, let us start. Okay, great. Uh, hello, everyone again. Uh, do you hear me well? I guess so. <laughs> um, here we have a chat, yeah, where you can leave your questions, comments, uh, whatever you want. Uh, I will answer them after the webinar, I guess, uh, because we have limited time. Uh, but maybe something during the webinar, after key project, after something. And uh, if I have some problems when, with internet connection <laughs> or voice, just keep calm and I will try to manage this as soon as possible. Um, yeah, so if anybody is here, I think we can start. You can just uh, type hello or you're here or something. Uh, okay. Just uh, two words about me. Um, I hope you hear me. So I'm an architect. 
Uh, I am from Kazan, uh, but I live in Moscow. And uh, we opened our uh, our oven studio like MA space. Uh, we are focused on energy efficiency in architecture, some innovation projects, uh, material science uh, as well. Uh, I also had some membership in Society of Illustrators because yeah, I'm interested in also in graphics, but you can find it in internet if you want. And I'm official expert of uh, prototyping future cities. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I was included in the, some famous book, um, 100 Best Experts. This is just quickly about me. Uh, and this is the photo I demonstrated uh, my last research in New York that I was presented in um, Museum of Modern Art and also in Parcel School of, De of Design. But I will discuss it a bit later. And um, I want to ask you uh, some questions about you, your name, city, profession. You can just write it in the chat. Uh, I would glad to see you. <laughs> I and uh, also write please your expectation from today webinar um, from my point. So why did you decide to register? Your interest maybe? Um, what you want to know about this? I give you for about thirty seconds, please. If anybody is here. <laughs> Nadia, <laughs> hi <laughs> again. Hi, yeah, I already started to sharing uh, information about <laughs> So uh, I think don't be shy, yeah, just put some information mm. about you oh, and great. from where you are, from which city, because it's very interesting from which part of the world we are here now at this moment. And maybe uh, what is your expectations from the webinar, because we are really interested to know and maybe Anya can even adjust mm. speech to your interests. So that would be really great to hear uh, what you from from where you are, what is your profession and what do you expect? This would yeah. be really great. Because I just uh, have uh, a lot of projects, but I can just quickly explain about this and focus on uh, more on your personal features that you need to develop for some success in your profession, etc. Mm, great. Mm, open science. <laughs> this is very important. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. Urban planning, architecture, interesting in research. Mm, in there. <laughs> Great. Okay. I will focus on all the aspects that I am um, going to cover. On oh, Sergey, I know you. <laughs> Great. Okay, um, I will continue. I think you can write and I will show you all the experience that I am going to be uh, to present today. So, uh, the content for today uh, is to, um, okay, this is for the um, idea um, uh, from Kazan to New York. So I start. I will start from my first experience in material science about my project that I developed in Kazan. Uh, I graduated from Kazan Architectural University and uh, also I will show you how I developed this project in Moscow, then in New York, um, what I get from this, uh, what, what are key uh, ideas of the project, but uh, the key idea is to like uh, identify your personal features, uh, what you should have for developing um, to have a success in this field, uh, how to launch international research project. Um, and I will, uh, I will give you some advices um, as I <laughs> as I have uh, um, quickly discuss about my studio, my experience, and um, I can help you in this way. So yes, I hope it will be useful. Uh, so yes, Kazan, 
I graduated in 2016, so five years <laughs> ago. Um, and uh, this was my first innovative project that uh, had uh, high success in, U in New York also. Uh, but this was like just a diploma project uh, fo with focus on architecture, with uh, focus on urban design. Uh, heterological cluster is a new typology of educational complexes located in Kazan, uh, in uh, Kazan River port site. And this, is, uh, this demonstrates uh, the idea that we need to develop such complexes in Russia, in Kazan as well. Uh, but <laughs> It was uh, it was uh, based on detailed uh, urban analysis, but the idea is not in this. I started uh, this topic by accident. Uh, it just was a right choice of projects, and um, <laughs> I should had to develop a project at Kazan River Port site. But uh, being very highly involved in this topic, in this hydrology topic, because River Port site is uh, uh, this this place. I shifted from like from architectural point um, to like technological one because um, I um, dedicate this project is dedicated to water irrigation problem, um, global warming, and something ecological challenges in modern city, and I just shifted from architecture to water management by architectural. So I consider the uh, I created like typology of cluster elements. It was uh, based on biomimicry principle, biomimicry, biomimicry. <laughs> it was connected with biomaterials, with biotechnologies in architecture. So I created the typology of landscape, facade, and interior elements uh, that are responding to um, some ecological problems. For example, elements that purify water, that provide a zero water cycle that uh, respond to climate challenges, um, to ecological environment, etc. So, and then I just again translate this to architecture. And this, this project was based on like fairy tale, um, connected with the ecology and also this based on real challenges of Kazan and uh, world teachers. Uh, I was awarded the first prize in USA. It was a global competition, like the three natural systems. And so it was like the first global success because I had a lot of mentions in, um, in Arc Daily, in internet resources connected with Russian architecture. So I had a lot of mentions. And what I decided uh, to develop this topic to continue water development, water management in architecture. And um, yeah, I decided to focus on uh, like prototyping, not only research, not only design the projects, not only like, this topic, but also on prototyping. And I started to study in Moscow in higher school of, of economics because uh, I knew about like Shoko Club platform where I can develop the project in practice, uh, where I can create prototypes of these projects. And uh, the key idea was to develop one of the elements that I already mentioned, um, the surface uh, that able to produce water from air. This was like a challenge. <laughs> and I tried to, um, to like to create some surface that produce water from air and to test some materials that produce water from air. I created different experiments. I calculated um, surfaces in Rhino. In I created different experiments in this. So, and yeah, it was based on really a uh, technological way, not only architectural, not architectural knowledge. This was like a lot of chemical experiments, it was physical uh, measurements, a lot. So this is a completely new experience in design and in uh, material science. So yes, this was a way to integrate architecture, engineering, uh, ecological knowledge. And I was awarded uh, the first place in ecological forum. This was also success 
in Russia, <laughs> one of the awards in Russia. And I was presented with Tropic in Marhim um, two years ago. Yes, and also I was some success in this field connected with Watcher. I want to ask you, <laughs> maybe do uh, you have a place for prototyping a few ideas, um, such places as the Shoko Club, for example, in Moscow or whatever your city? <laughs> you can just write it, but uh, I will continue because this is just a um, focus that you should think. Um, I <laughs> can show you another project in this field. But you should think about this because this is a great opportunity to develop your ideas in practice. Practice between um, before, const before construction, but this is very important. And the first project that I am going to demonstrate you is a self-sufficient housing block for 1,000 people. Uh, I had also created this in Shokhov Lab and this was a um, group very detailed project uh, considering a lot of aspects of ecology connected, connected with recycling of natural resources, connected with energy production, water recycling, food production in Russia. This is a very huge challenge as well. And this project was developed for also Moscow Urban Forum and they presented with theirs and at Zochestva Festival, so this was a great experience as well. Um, this was started from uh, a lot of problems in Moscow that like centralized water system, water supply distribution system. And we proposed uh, a zero waste water cycle because this is my topic of water. <laughs> and uh, I calculated the amount that we can uh, recycle. Uh, what about what is the, what is the amount of water that, can, that we can recycle? and uh, yeah, how we can provide with zero water cycle in Moscow. This is also a challenge. How? Uh, there are three aspects. This is um, a recycling of black water, of gray water. So we can use shower, for example, for <laughs> using toilet. <laughs> uh, also, we can provide uh, the cycle of water, rainwater, for example. Uh, we can collect it, we can reuse it, and. Uh, used for gardening, for example. And we also can provide uh, the, some experiments with facade elements that also can uh, manage water outside, inside, and this is uh, like a re real natural system inside the architecture. So I can present you such diagrams that they created in response to the aspects uh, that combine all the problems here about food production, uh, some open spaces, so this is not only about ecological uh, changes, it's also about social network. Uh, but you can see it in the in internet also, <laughs> connected with project. <clears throat> and uh, we also created uh, some sections, demonstrated this idea of energy production uh, by roof, uh, also food production by green green elements in the building by water recycling and material. So this is also highly connected between each other. And this is high, highly important for green architecture. Point. Um, we presented this project as the Moscow Urban Forum to President of Tatarstan, Stan Yihanov. Also, we presented this uh, project at Open City Conference in Moscow and also demonstrated with all the aspects there. Uh, if you have any questions, you just <laughs> yeah, you just write it in the chat and I will uh, answer them a bit later. Uh, so I can shift to another huge experience in my life and in my experience in material science. Um, I created as uh, a project connected with self-healing urban materials. Uh, maybe you have already seen this, my book uh, This is new generation of urban materials uh, based on fungal spores. Uh, I bit shifted from my water hydrological topic to 
uh, another one, but this uh, generation of materials also connected with water because if you know, uh, there is some karst phenomenon in urban environment as is connected with failures of ground uh, everywhere. <laughs> this is world problem, this is global challenge. And um, what's happening, the water uh, just uh, have an impact on ground and we have a lot of failures. Uh, with, we had um, like, like car steam holes everywhere. And I decided to, um, to like to find the way in architecture, in biotechnologies, how to uh, protect the ground from this global phenomena. So expand, I noted that we had, uh, we, we can use uh, biotechnologies like fungal spores for uh, healing the cracks in the ground, in with materials. This is also connected with architecture. And uh, this slide demonstrates the idea of evolution of urban materials, such as ground, such as weak materials based on limestone. Uh, you know, this is a um, famous <laughs> uh, material everywhere. So I noted that fungal spores uh, are able to produce like component of limestone, such as calcite. And this calcite uh, evolves in material in cracks with water. And this just uh, produce a uh, self healing process of karst. <laughs> uh, karst uh, is the same limestone, so we have like the best ideal synthesis of biotechnologies and uh, ground landscape material. So the idea is demonstrated here. So the final test was a um, strange test on. Uh, like an ability to cast uh, to be on wage to uh, to have a load. Uh, so I noted that fungal spores produce limestone and also produce uh, like flexible living materials that um, um, that help to be uh, like. Uh, like in a system that system that is able to evolve without, without any human intervention, and was this was the key here. I also translate this principle to architecture, demonstrating that microcars can be in different archetypes depending on social citizens' needs. This can be open landscape design that is able to be stretched based on those forces can be. Um, in the museum architecture, demonstrating the Michael Karst um, aesthetic uh, or principle itself, this can be just different landscape types. This can be an option. Um, and uh, what happens? <laughs> I uh, presented this idea, this project in New York. This was a huge challenge. I was a bit shocked. <laughs> but it's so the greatest experience in my career uh, because I presented the project to not to architects but to, but to um, specialized uh, from chemistry from biotechnologies uh, to different uh, different fields. So this was great experience because I'm an architect and I have no special knowledge in biotechnologies in chemistry or uh, physics, uh, but I should presented to uh, this idea to a uh, whole great uh, experts in this field. And what's <laughs> happening? Uh, I was awarded the best uh, outstanding science award in New York in my design challenge and also uh, in Museum of Modern Art. And this was great uh, chance to develop this project in practice uh, in Kazan. I presented it also to President of Tatarstan. Uh, so today I have a lot of connections um, with, with different <laughs> people. Uh, I presented this project also to social media, to television. I had a lot of interview, but as you can see, this is just a chance. <laughs> um, I will 
show you the slide with my tips to you, but this is just about my experience. Um, so I like formulate my philosophy in this field, how I consider architecture today. So I consider this not um, connected with form, but more like with technology, this technology interest on uh, outstanding environment, <laughs> outer conditions, uh, also to inner climate and something like this. Uh, and in this regard, I created um, Owen Studio, like MA Space, uh, with my partner, colleague in energy efficiency field, more like in engineering. So we um, uh, decided to combine our knowledge in innovations and create something open <laughs> uh, that can uh, that have like corporates of us and we can share anywhere our experience uh, our major services our thoughts in this field so this is our and uh yeah we created our website with all the projects uh with all the ideas uh both experiments of both and real projects um but this is also connected with innovations uh, and we also share our media resources about us about our thoughts in this field uh this is awards uh, conferences with um connected with all the all the projects and uh, we are always open to collaborate uh, consider um, different collaborations with uh, researchers, uh, with architects, studios, individual experts uh, around the world. And this is a key in experience in any field, in architecture, in science, in urban planning. The collaborations are the key. Uh, so because we should keep contacts around the world, we should share our ideas. Uh, between people, maybe um, there was some success. Uh, okay, and the last part, uh, how to launch international architecture research. This is more like tips, uh, this is more like a result of my experience, my thoughts in this field. I can share with you mm -hmm. my uh, like advice. <laughs> Uh, the first one is to not to be afraid to share your crazy ideas because we, uh, we are open to prototypes and we are open to share our thoughts. We are open to taking part in this different conferences, contests. Um, we, can share, uh, we can send to magazines, different social networks. We can just be open to this and uh, don't be afraid because yes, a lot of a lot of resources to be uh, to be there. Also, write more to all the people, communicate, expand your contacts. Uh, also in different fields, uh, don't be afraid to write your work <laughs> to different famous people in architecture, to professors from different universities around the world. Um, you can say about yourself, about your experience, this is great. Uh, but you need to be um, everywhere. <laughs> uh, also, this may be, uh, uh, may be a challenge, uh, but you can start your own business. You can just start not only the company, but also start just a website. Um, you can write, of course. I will share my contacts between you. <laughs> um, <laughs> you can just start anywhere where you can, you can write your experience, your ideas, or whatever you want. Because it is your copyright and you are holder of your ideas. Uh, and the last crazy <laughs> advice, don't uh, do more and less speak because um, we can just do and uh, you can think, but just to speak. <laughs> and uh, yes, I can share with you my contacts. You can write anywhere. You can write me in Facebook, in Instagram. Instagram. Uh, you can sh uh, you can keep our um, like 
our mail of our studio you can just write also to us or you can if you have any questions you can write me in direct or now in the chat because we have time to answer all the questions uh, and thank you all for attention if you have any questions i'm waiting i'm waiting waiting and i'm ready to answer them so i hope the internet communication is okay yes i have a few questions and maybe nadia is also here <laughs> yeah, hi Anna. Uh, thanks a lot for the presentation. I think it was quite inspiring and quite interesting examples of how an architect can develop a research in a quite completely, quite different field. But at the same time, what we see um, in modern world is that everything is interconnected. And you cannot more just be an architect or you cannot more just be an engineer because everything is connected and uh, in case you would like to have a more successful project in case you would like to have a global influence or a global career you have to collaborate with other fields and you have to be a multidisciplinary expert am i right yeah do you hear me I am here, <laughs> but yes, I thought that people should write something. <laughs> yes, I prefer collaboration yeah. in these different fields. Yeah, so guys, we still wait your questions. You can type any question you have uh, in the chat and Anna will be answering the questions. It can be connected with the research. It can be connected with the personal development or anything that you have in mind. In case you enjoyed the webinar, please also um, uh, leave some comments or leave some feedback that it was useful for you or that it was um, uh, that you found some specific moments interesting because we would like to have your feedback uh, and that would be really great if you can share the feedback or your questions. Um, so there were one question, Anna. Maybe you can uh, answer it. Mm -hmm. uh, I think one question. Uh, where is it? Uh, mm -hmm. It was about odor. Biological water recycling tanks always come with awful odor. Isn't this is fixed? Uh, just moment. I will find this question. What is it a bit? <laughs> I can not. It's in the chat. Okay. From, from Vladimir Goncharov. Mm -hmm. Moment. Aha, uh -huh. yeah, I see this. Uh, Biological water recycling. Thanks, always come with some water. Um, you mean this fixed in my presentation or? in practice in urban environment <laughs> if you mean uh, the question of water purification um there are a lot of technologies in this regard uh, but this is like connected with um one of the clear aspects in biotechnologies, so this this can be fixed uh, in regard of energy efficient buildings in uh, advanced experience, but this is very rare practice now in in our architecture in Russia. This is connected also with innovations so a bit, <laughs> and this is, can be fixed in different cases, but not always, not everywhere. Mm -hmm. Так, okay. <laughs> Have you managed to research bio biological areas of science? Um, 
how I manage you, you mean biological aspects in my research projects or um, how I manage some innovations in this field I did uh -huh. Uh -huh. both <laughs> okay uh, I just um, have a lot of I have a lot of like articles about this field and I um, uh, manage with um, so this is also connected with my ideas of my research projects because for example uh, when I decided to create my podcast I just uh, decided to find some new uh, knowledge new um, articles in this field and yes I had a lot of articles I had uh, contacts of real experts in this field so I tried to manage uh, both the aspects that they can do. So um, I wrote to profession professionals from biotechnologists uh, directly in Facebook <laughs> or uh, LinkedIn. So you can just uh, write them, and uh, you can you can just uh, manage. Um, their experience and you can just uh, find something new from internet so this is whatever you want in this field there are no uh, resources with all the uh, news in this biotechnology field or in about innovations you can just uh, find in different different resources and uh, so, yeah, I would like maybe here to add um, because this is very important and this is a very good question how um, did Anna manage to, uh, to mix the biology, architecture and chemistry and this is actually the power of our days because mm -hmm. we have the networks and we have internet and we can access experts from any part of the world and actually at our master program we are always trying to mix different disciplines and to provide as many experts from different fields as possible because the uh, the power of now is the multidisciplinary research and multidisciplinary projects um, and um, of course you cannot know everything this is just impossible one person cannot be expert in everything yeah, yeah. but Anna managed to, she already got the degree as an architect. She was, of course, she was not a bio biologist or um, um, any scientist from this field, but she managed to collaborate and to establish the contacts with the right experts who helped her, who provided the feedback, who assessed the ideas. And this is the thing that, uh, this is the really strongest thing in our times that we can use because we have the experts and the one question more about how long <laughs> I developed my research of Michael Karst uh, this is uh, half of a year but actually this was like I guess four months I guess yes because we started uh, from just research from first ideas uh, it was like for about a month uh, and then we we, pro we started to prototype it was like for about three months at least because my uh, my result connected with this time three months and so as a whole four months i guess so if you have no degree in some field you can just keep contacts with other fields, collaborations, and this is not a problem. <laughs> okay, I see we don't have much more more questions, right? So we can start to finish our webinar. I would like to say thank you to you, Anna, for sharing your experience and for sharing the tips. And mm -hmm. I hope guys, that it was useful for you. As we already mentioned, you can contact Anna, we can contact us. And we really will be happy yeah, to see you now with, uh, yeah, with <laughs> you. Uh, please um, subscribe to our social media. I would like to ask Valeria, uh, she is in chat now, to share our Facebook, Shukhov Lab Facebook and Shukhov Lab Instagram so everyone can be subscribed for us and stay tuned. Uh, and um, 
um, we are going to have us uh, in the future some more webinars so um, I really encourage you to participate in the webinar thanks a lot Anna and thanks a lot for all of you guys that you uh, you were with us today thank you <laughs> everyone bye 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 <laughs> bye, -bye. Thank you.